Yo, what's up guys? Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget boys. Welcome back to some Lumber Tycoon 2. Hopefully a lot of you guys are really excited to see that I am uploading another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Um, I really liked reading all of your guys' comments and saying, yo, Midget, like, you got me in a Lumber Tycoon, I still play, all this kind of stuff. So, I figured, you know what, I want to try to make some more Lumber Tycoon 2 content. Um, I do like to, um, I do like to kind of make videos that a lot of you guys like. And, um, and yeah, so I was like, you know what, we're going to play Lumber Tycoon 2 today. And actually, when I logged in, I was like, you know what, I cannot let my base look like a pile of poop any longer. I need to actually start organizing it. So, I've actually been sitting here organizing it for probably half an hour right now. I know it does not look like that at all because... It's still an absolute giant mess. Uh, we're getting there, though. We're getting there. Um, I am I am slowly organizing everything. Like, all the cave crawler wood is pretty much away. I think there's one up there. Um, so I finally got all that. And I also had to fix a lot of the things up here. So a lot of the wood sorters were broken um, because they didn't have the pieces in it. And I don't remember which one goes right here. I think it's supposed to be, like, palm wood. Um, so I still need a little piece of palm wood for that. But, yeah, we're getting things organized. I'm showing off a pretty cool, um, a pretty cool base today, a pretty cool plot that uh, I'm pretty excited about because I actually haven't seen it. I've heard a lot of people tell me, yo, Midget, you need to show off this dude's base. It's pretty insane. It's really cool. Um, and it is loaded in on the server right now, so I kind of saw like a little bit of it, but it's on the other side of the map. So I haven't really seen a whole lot. I'm excited. It's supposed to be a mini golf in Lumber Tycoon 2. It's made by Plug Brooks. Okay, so we're going to be checking it out. Um, all right, I think we got pretty much all of our cave crawler wood for like right now. So there's one up there we'll go grab. Um, but yeah, I think... I think I'm, I'm hoping, you know, I, like, I hate organizing in Lumber Tycoon 2 now because I've done it so many times and it always ends up just getting ridiculously messy. So it's really hard to be motivated to, like, make this place look good. But I feel like it's gotten to, like, an absolute insane, like, it's just so messy now. So I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to organize it one more time. I'm going to get it organized. And then, unfortunately, I'm probably going to end up blacklisting, like, everyone on the server every time I join in. Because it's not that you guys mean to make things messy. Like, I totally, you're not coming, most people aren't coming on here and being like, I need to messy up Midget's base. But, um, it just kind of happens when there's, like, five people crawling around on my base, driving trucks in. Like, things just get messy. Things just get out of place. So, um, oh, and there's also a lot of wood that's, like, glitched. You see, it's, like, glitched into the floor. I don't necessarily know how to get it, like, unglitched. Um, maybe by breaking it, it'll get it unglitched. But, yeah, they're, like, stuck in the floor. So, I'm like, what, what do I, how did that even happen? One and two, like, oh. Wait, no, yeah, see, I can't, I can't do anything about it. I can only, like, drag it along my plot, and I don't even know how I'm supposed to, to fix that. That's kind of a bummer. If you guys know, let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll be able to actually fix that. All right, we're going to throw this over there right now. Um, now that it's daytime, we are going to go over to Plug Brook's base. I'm pretty excited. I don't know where some of my wood also goes. Like, I don't know where my lava wood goes. Like, maybe in there? Yeah, that seems about right. We'll throw that one in there. I don't really know. It could be in that last one, actually. Could be in this one over here. This is where I got my gold wood, and I'm assuming, like, it's just, it's kind of all a mess right now. It's still all a mess, and it, like, this wood, it's stuck in the ground, so, like, I can't, like, what, what's going on? What's going on? But, all right, we're going to head over there right now. Also, I don't know where this sled came from. It was, like, up above somewhere, and then I just dropped it down. But, yeah, we're, we're getting things slowly organized. You guys are probably like, Midget, you are crazy. That base is not organized at all. In due time, my dudes, in due time. Okay, in due time. All right, we're going to grab a truck. I'm going to throw this over here real quick. We're going to grab a truck. We're going to go all the way over to Plug Brooks base. I do want to spend most of this video over there because um, hopefully it's something really cool. I don't know if you can actually play mini golf or if it's just for looks. I have no idea. Um, but let's go grab a T-Ruck. Let's, let's grab a T-Ruck real quick. I feel like I also need to respawn my sled because it's kind of like annoying me right now. So let's actually do that. Wow. Like there's, there's pieces of wood in here. Like, how did things get so messy on this base? I don't know. And, like, every time I would do a video, I was like, yeah, I don't really care about lumber. I don't need to, don't need to clean it up. But now I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to clean up our base. We can't just disrespect it like that, you know? All right, we're going to respawn the sleigh. We're going to respawn the trailer. And we're going to respawn this sleigh. Hopefully that sleigh, yeah, okay, it disappeared over there. Good. Good, 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 good. But, yeah, we'll, we'll slowly get this place looking good again, hopefully. Hopefully. All right. Oh, excuse me, present. Man, there's, like, stuff everywhere. There's legit stuff everywhere right now. I need to move this back onto the base. Like, holy smoke. Can I not move this box? You know, I can't, I can't. Oh, there we go. I was like, what do you, what do you mean, dude? What do you mean? All right, we're going to throw that over there. Okay, so we're going to head on over to Plug Brooks base. Let's do this, baby. Let's do this, baby. I'm excited. We can see it from here. It's pretty impressive, I will say. Um, I haven't seen a whole lot, like, up close. But look, you can literally see it from here. Mini golf. And it blinks. So I'm excited, dudes. I am very, very, very excited. Um, don't know what those things are. Don't really know where the entrance is. I'm assuming the entrance is right here. Whoa. Now it's like mega lit up when you're over here close. That's really cool. 
dude, I'm excited. Look at that. Look at that. See, let's let's get a little screeny for mom real quick. We'll get like one little one little quick screeny. Boom, 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 boom. Or like tons of screenies. You know, you never know. You just get a bunch of them. Um, all right, what's it? What's these things in here? I don't know. We can't open them, so I'm just gonna follow Plug Brooks here. There he is, right there, chilling like a villain. Just came back from uh, vacation because he's like super yellow. All right, do we get in over here? And then I don't know if we can actually play. Um, you're whitelisted now. Oh, I was like, all right, let's do it, boy. Let's do it. I like the um, I like the the rails with the wires. Okay, we're gonna go this way. So I don't know if you can. This is hole one. This is really cool and unique. All right, how do we play? What's up, dude? I will take a ball or a, oh, is it with pucks? Wait, can you get a puck in this game? How do you get a puck? Oh, that's a door. I was like, how do we get pucks? Oh, it's with one of these. Okay. All right, so he says there are blank you can play. Probably 18 or 9 holes you can play. Okay, so what do I do? Do I do I hit it with my axe? Is that how this works? 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, not, not quite how this works. Oh, you can hit it with an axe. What do you mean, bro? I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't, how do you, or just drag it from standing position. I don't really think the axe is working, or else I'd be all over that. Because that would be so epic, but I don't think it works. Drop the axe? Oh, you're supposed to drop it, and then it moves the ball? No way. Seriously? No way. Okay. All right, so that's pretty cool. That looks like it's really, really, really challenging. So I'm just going to pick it up and throw it. And go. That's a hole in one, baby. Hole in one. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of the cheating way. Um, but all right, so we got a hole in one. We're gonna keep track of our score here. We're gonna see what we get. Oh wait, I can't pick it up. Oh yes, yes I can. A little laggy, I think. All right, hole two right here. What do we got? All right, we're gonna put it there. I really want to like kind of figure out this whole axe thing, but it's really, really, really challenging. And we've got some serious lag. Is there another base being loaded up right now, or is it just there's so much going on? All right, I want to try this one more time. So if I drop it like right, if I drop it like right here, I wonder if there's a strategy. Boom. Okay, so I missed. <laughs> uh, a huge swing and a miss. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna roll it. Do I gotta go? I gotta go over that. And three, two, one, go. That's another hole in one, baby. That's another hole in one. All right, so we're we're at two. We're at two hole in ones. Uh, hole three is over here. This is really cool. Like this is such a unique idea. Now I know why everyone's said, you know, Mitch, you got you to show this place off. All right. I'm going to roll it into that, and hopefully we get a nice little bangerang. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, God. It was so slow. It was so slow, but we still got it, boys. There's some serious lag going on right now. Serious, serious lag. Okay, we're going to go over here to four. Hole number four. What do we got? What are we working with? So I got to go, I got to go over and around, just kind of hit it hard. Honestly, hit this one hard, and it goes in. All right, ready, and pick up, and three, two, one, Tiger Woods. Oh, God, no! I ruined my streak. I ruined my streak. All right, three, two, one, Tiger Woods. All right, maybe it was because I said Tiger Woods. Okay, what are we at now? We're on We're on hole five. We're on hole five. Man, look at how awful this, like, lag is. I, like, grab it, and then the ball's like, ooh, ooh, a little double whammy here. Okay. Look, look at where, wow, that's crazy how laggy or something this is. Ready, three, two, one, go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Roll. 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 There we go. All right. So that's that's what I There's only one hole I didn't get a hole in one on. How many holes are there? There might be 18. There might be 18. Okay, this one looking a little challenging. Looking a little. I like how he's got like a little tree right there. That's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. All right, great. Three, two, one. Oh, man. Three, two, one. And go. Nailed it. That one's so easy. So easy. This is a really unique idea, and the amount of zombie wood he must have had to get for this is pretty insane. Ooh. Okay, so this one looks like as long as you get it in that little snake thing, it goes in. Three, two, one. Huh. Nailed it. Hole in one, baby. Oh, yep. Hole in one. I was like, no. All right, we got hole eight right there. We are burning through these like nobody's business. This is cool, though. I wonder what's underneath this area. Probably a sawmill and like how he built everything. Like, you know, all this storage for wood. And, oh, nope. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, wait. It depends on, on what happens with the ball. All right. I guess, I guess I'll count that. I guess I'll count that. That was not a bad, not a bad roll. Not a bad roll. Three, two, one. I kind of cheated on that one. And it still didn't go in. Go. Oh, what? Did I just kick that on accident? Oh, God. What's happening? All right. I don't know how many strokes that was. Who's counting, though? Who's counting? <laughs> all right. Let's see the rest of these, though. Um, We got this one right here. This one right here looks pretty... Actually, really challenging. Let's actually try it. 
Let's try it. So in, in mini golf, things are supposed to get way more challenging the longer you play. I don't know if any of you guys have played like golf with friends or have actually gone mini golfing, but that's pretty much how it works. Okay, I got, I'm going to come in at an angle here. I'm going to go bang. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I want to I wanna mulligan on that one. I want to I wanna do it again because I feel like I can get this. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Why? Why? No, I want one more mulligan. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right, this is so embarrassing right now. Plug Brooks is like, this is the worst golfer I've ever seen. That's why I'm I'm a flying midget, all right? Now I'm a I'm a flying golfer. Huh. Dang it. All right. You know what? This one we'll, we'll just say this whole beat me. All right? This this whole beat me. But oh god, this is so embarrassing. Don't look plug bricks. Oh god. Uh, uh. Why is it lifting me up? Why is there so much lag? Why am I moving backwards? Okay, you know what? We're just going to skip this hole. It's fine. No one saw that. Um Ooh, this one looks challenging. I think I can do it though. Mm. Not quite. Not not quite. Off the wall. Off the easy. Oh man, I didn't even pick that one up. Off the easy. Ready? Oh gosh, this is so bad. I feel like if there wasn't all this lag, like I would do decent. You know what I mean? I'm gonna blame it on the lag. I'm blaming it on the lag. Ooh, I see an automatic trap door over there. That's cool. How have I not seen this base before? This is like a really cool idea and something that's really, really, really unique. Oh, we're dropping our golf balls. We're dropping our balls. All right, we got a little little ramp here. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Almost got stuck in the crevasse, but I didn't. All right, this is our trap door one. We got to try the trap door. We Oh, rip. I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. My bad. Ooh, is there more holes like down there? Dude, pick up the ball, midget. Oh, my gosh. It really just does not want to function with me. Okay, ready? Three. Oh, wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Three, two, one, go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. I like how we like kind of made these like somewhat easy because you could have made. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it, but I guess we'll go with it. Oh, there's a ramp here because you can make these like really, really, really challenging, especially rip, especially if you use the axe method instead of like the throwing method that I'm doing because I feel like I'm totally cheating, even though I still suck. There's got to be some serious lag right now. Classic Lumber Tycoon 2 fashion because I swear I'm not this bad at mini golf. I swear. I swear. All right, we're going to go. What is this? Hole 14 right now. Looks like we got some holes here I got to avoid. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Tease it. There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Easy. Meant to do that. All right. Hole 15. What do we got? How do you come up with all these good ideas? These are solid. Ready? Go. All right. That was embarrassing. It like started out so good and then it just died. Just died on me like that. I totally just cheated on that one. I like grabbed it. <laughs> I grabbed it all the way over. It's right though. It's right. Good thing I'm not recording a video. No one knows. Oh, God, I don't know what's happening there. Gnarly spin, baby. All right, we're jumping up here. Ooh, do I have to ramp this one? No way. Oh, no. This one's easy. This one's easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. Ready? Easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy, go. What? How are you supposed to do that? Yeah, I got to start way back up here. Ready? Three, two. I'm just going to throw it. Ready? Mm. How do you do that? How the poop are you supposed to do this one? Ready? Three. Oh, I don't know where it went. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to skip this one. It's bad. I, I know. I know. All right. What's this one? Hole 17. We got a conveyor. Don't know which way it's going. Um, we got this dude, like, standing in front of me right now. I can't see. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Uh, all right. Who kicked my ball? Or am I that bad? Three, two, one, go. Okay. Is that? Ooh, the conveyor's moving backwards. Okay. Okay. Good idea. Good idea. You think that's going to phase me? Wow, that's really hard to get through. Three, two, one, go. Oh, uh, nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. I think we're on the last hole now. Last hole, just playing a little mini golf in Lumber Tycoon 2. It's whatever. Whoa. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Just nice and easy, midget. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I'm totally cheating by, like, picking it up and moving. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ready, three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, that one's down the hatch. Whoa. Oh, and fireworks go off. Yo, how did you do that? I got to see that. Wait, what? Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. Um, I'm just going to move this for a second, my guy. I'm going to work my way through, and then I'm just going to quit. Boom. How did he make that? I want to know how that works. I want to go I want to go in the inner workings of this and see how that works, because that was really cool. I didn't know. Is it a ball on, like, a pressure plate? Is that what we're working with? There's a kitchen in here. Oh, nice. Lighting. I want to go see how I want to I want to see how that works back there. I don't know if he's gonna let me you know let me see the behind the scenes. This is a cool little house. It's all underneath the um 
All pretty much. No, it's on the side of the golf course. Whoa. That's sweet. All right, I'm going to go in here because I want to see how this works. He's probably like, what are you doing in there, midget? I'm sorry, Plug Brooks. I want to see how this thing works over here, which I can't even see how it works. So it's got to go in here, and then it ends up coming out of... I'm just going to... One second. Okay, yeah, so it hits a pressure plate, and the pressure plate goes down there. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. All right, just wanted to see how that works, dude. My bad. Wait, whoa, is this a garage door that, like, opens up? Whoa, that is mega cool. That is mega cool. Why haven't I done something like that? Whoa. That's so cool, dudes. Oh my gosh, that's actually a really cool garage door. I really like that. Wow, this is a really cool just clean base. Like, I didn't think Lumber Tycoon 2, like, clean bases existed until now. Ooh, he's got a little barbecue grill out there. That's cool. Wow, ooh, and another little garage right here. Dude, this is... Oh, I like that. I like that. It's clean. All of his pink cars. Oh, my goodness. Yo, this is a swagger base. Like, this dude's balling. This is cool. Got a little, like, little mini golf that's, like, actually a really clean-looking base. And, like, everything works nicely. Like, this is a rare Lumber Tycoon 2 base. Like, a clean one that's functional. And, all like, just really cool all around the board. How do you, like... Where do you... Har okay, you harvest your, your, um, your stuff in here. This is for... Oh, dropping wood out here to build, I'm assuming. Okay, cool. Cool. That's really cool, man. Wow, I like this. This this base. You've seen stuff like this in Lumber Tycoon. It makes me want to like, all right, now I kind of want to like get back into Lumber Tycoon and build something epic like this. Um, I'm assuming these are like wood storages. That's what I would do. Yeah. Whoa, he's got a lot too. Those things go back deep. Nice. That's a cool way to do it. Design a door and then literally have all of your storage in there. Mega cool. Mega, mega, mega cool. And that way no one messes with your wood. This man's on to something. Plug Books is on to something. I feel like I should, uh, I feel like I should remake a base or like do something on a different base. Whoa. This is like his baller stash. See, everything is so organized and awesome. Like, dude, nice. That's what I had my base at at one point and then was like, rip. Everyone came on it and things just got gnarly and just went crazy. But wow, Plug Books, dude, thanks for letting me show this thing off. This thing is ridiculously cool. Like, ridiculously cool. I wish I had a cool base like this. Guys, let me know what you think about this base in the comments down below. Super unique. Have you guys seen this before? Have you played on the course? I feel like a lot of people know about this because uh, a lot of people were telling me that I should record on this. So I don't know if a lot of people have seen this or not. But wow, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed by this base, Plug Brook. So you get a 10-star rating for me, my dude. But uh, yeah, dudes, thanks for having a call video for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I wanted to bring some Lumber Tycoon 2 back on the channel. Maybe in the next episode I'll have things cleaned up on my base. But now that I'm like looking at that one and I'm coming over to mine, I'm like, dang, mine's kind of weak though. I mean, mine's cool in and of itself. It doesn't have mini golf on it. And it's definitely not as clean as Plug Brooks right now. Although I will say it's definitely more functional just because there's like a bunch of like auto drop off tool thing in Majigaroonies and it's probably way more functional and efficient, but not as cool, hands down not as cool. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. That is where I'm gonna call the video for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure you beat fly and subscribe. Okay, yeah, I'm a fly, yeah. Bitch, if hit it, spit a kill him with the brother spilling, let the villain chillin' about to make a killin' villain, always building, better stack it to the ceiling, yeah. Haters over there, we're not aware of you. Rockin' with my boy Shawnee, a character. Rep the red, white, and blue, America.